Hi you guys, welcome back to a first impression review video. This is where I take a look at an entire collection from a sewing pattern designer and I review each and every pattern that they offer. Um, today is an indie version where I'm looking at an independent pattern designer. This is Sycamore Road Patterns. I couldn't figure out where in the world she's from. Um, her site, as you'll see, uh, the patterns are sold in euros. So that narrows it down a little bit, but not specifically. But but I did enjoy reading her about me section. Um, this is Alice Alexandra. Yep. Um, and uh, this little page, she talks about her journey to becoming a sewing pattern designer. Um, and I think it's very similar to a journey we've all been on before. But basically, she was obsessed with fashion, obsessed with clothes, buying, 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 and realized that she was buying way, way too much. So she started to change the way that she lived and change the way that she viewed fashion. Um, she started to buy more vintage and be more thoughtful with the clothes that she was buying, but she was struggling in, in being able to afford sustainable fashion. You know, it's very expensive to buy ready to wear sustainable fashion. And that's when she realized, oh, I can just sew it myself. So <laughs> she learned how to sew. Um, and then she, but, but again, she was still struggling because she couldn't find the sewing patterns that matched her personal style. So she started to create them herself. Now, um, I love that she does include in her about me that she's the designer. She's not the pattern maker. She has outsourced that. She's hired a professional. So she does know sewing. She knows fashion. She knows what she likes. She has her own point of view. Um, and so she can express that to a professional pattern maker and they are the ones who draft her patterns for her. Um, she's size inclusive and all of her patterns are tested um, exhaustively, she says, by people of all sizes. So with all of that in mind, let's take a look at Alexandra's collection. It's small but mighty, right? Um, I think we are gonna be able to get an idea of her personal style as we go through this, and I think it's really kind of a fun one. Um, this is her most recent release. Uh, this month or last month, she released the Juniper Wrap Top, 13 and a half euros. Uh, wrap top with statement sleeves is, is what it is in a nutshell. Crop to design, which makes it ideal for pairing with high-waisted pants or skirts. Sleeves feature an, interest, an interesting construction method. They are double layered, which makes them extra poofy. So they're like basically lined. Um, and most of the seams are enclosed on the inside. Again, lined. But I think it's self-lining. So I don't know in the industry if that's like a different term than lining whenever you line it with the same fabric as the main i'm not sure how the what the fashion dictionary would say about that but this sounds basically like they're lined um they have a channel for the elastic neckline is bias bound um features bust starts for shaping size inclusivity i mentioned already um the design details are the same but plus size has a bit of a different fit i love this Sizes A through H, that's straight sizes, are are drafted for a two inch difference, so a B cup um, between upper and full bust. And then sizes I through O are drafted for a five inch difference. So that's A, B, C, D, E, an E cup between upper and full bust measurements. And then if you're in between those, you can do a full bust or a small bust in addition to that. All right, so here are the photos. And then I hope, so where's, did you, did you separate place for a size chart hopefully it's at the end of this oh the photos the photos are going to get me every single time on these indie websites i would like for the record if anybody's watching this <laughs> and start thinking about starting their own um website for sewing patterns when you click the zoom i would like for the picture to appear as a separate like pop-up kind of thing and then i'd like to be able from there to click through them okay just putting my two cents out there uh, but yeah, you can see it is sort of the bodice, a very straightforward wrap top. Um, wraps are great for people of different sizes because you can adjust the size essentially at the waist. So all you need to fit for is the bust. Um, and then she mentioned the very full sleeve. I love that she thought of the fullness because sometimes it can get it kind of droopy. Um, but having that lined element really helps them stand away from the body, gives it the fabric more structure no matter what fabric you're using. And then this is the elastic channel and then a big frilly frill frill on the end there. 
Here's the back. I do wish, I think it would be hysterical if someone called me and said, you have so many opinions about pattern designers websites from looking at so many of them. We want your input on our website so that we can make it the most user-friendly it can possibly be. I have opinions about almost every aspect of a website. Um, it doesn't just stop with the photos, but yeah, lots of really pretty pictures here. As you can see, I also think this is Alexandra. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure this is the same girl from the other photo, right? Lots of pictures. Okay, here is the size guide. Plus size starts at I. Okay, so we have a, I'm sure, assuming this is the body measurement chart. So a bust of 30 inches, 30 and a third, up to 57 and a half. This is great. The hip measurements for her, 35 inches up to 65, up to 65. So that's really, really, that's one of the more size inclusive pattern companies I've ever seen. A lot of them stop with a hip around 60, 61 maybe, 65 is, that's great. Okay, good. Then those are the fabric requirements for the pattern and that's all we're going to get on each listing. Okay. I do love that. Short, simple, sweet, to the point, you know, there's not a lot of like, there. you know how sometimes, and it's cute, I get you're trying to add personality to your website, but they're like, you know, for the perfect days of frolicking on the beach with your pelican and your, <laughs> you know, your spritzer, <laughs> and it's like, okay, I am going to decide how and where I'm going to wear this top. Just get to the point. Like, what is it going to have? Okay, so this is the Cameron wrap dress, same price as the top. It is also a wrap. So versatile dress design, unique twist on the classic wrap dress. Three darts in the front panels to shape the fabric around the bust to avoid excess fabric bunching up too much. Has a kimono style collar, which I think is just a band, um, which is curved. So it lays flat on the neckline. Beautiful. Um, and features two sleeve lengths and two skirt lengths. View A is regular straight sleeve. View B is gathered sleeve with a cuff that ties into a bow. Flirty fun, playful twist, several options. And then you'll find pattern pieces for these. There are several options included in this pattern to tailor it to your taste. You'll find pattern pieces for these options in the pattern hack files. What? That's kind of cool. That's similar to what Seamwork does with their, um, like if you're a member there and you buy the pattern, you have access to the Oh shoot, what do they call it? They have like a cute little name for it where you obviously get the pattern and then you have like an alternate version where you can, you adjust the pattern yourself. You don't reprint a whole separate version of the pattern. You just make the pattern adjustments. Um, so again, this talks about size inclusivity, um, tight at the side or back. And then here are recommended fabrics. That was one thing the other listing for the top was missing. Um, woven to lightweight medium, woven, light to medium weight, cotton, linen, silk, viscose, etc. All good options depending on the look you want. Okay. All right. Very good. So again, we can't see. It's going to be hard to see. Oh, there we go. We can get the whole dress in. But I like to take in the whole photo. You know, the whole photo was chosen for a reason. But this is the wrap. The top is giving... You know what else is missing from the last listing? Was line drawings. I would like to see that because I think that this is dolman sleeves. Oh, but no, it's this. So it's a drop shoulder with sort of, yeah, it is very kimono-y. So kimono top for sure. Then it wraps and then it has this really beautiful tulip skirt attached to it. I don't know that I was expecting that. I think that if it were straight like this, it would look like a robe. But making it curved like this really does make a beautiful, like it just makes it a little bit more sexy. And then the long sleeve. I am obsessed with long sleeve dresses right now. There's the bow tie. This might be double gauze. Here's the back. And this is what she was meant to about the kind of scooping situation of the neck band so that it doesn't, this part up top lays flatter to your body than if it were just a straight rectangle. But she's right about the fullness. It isn't as full as some kimono styles we see where there's just a lot of excess fabric on the sides. 
here's one that's pretty maybe like a linen there and this is the other sleeve too yeah this maybe the color of this one or maybe the the textile is giving a little bit more robe but maybe like a high-end spa robe <laughs> um it's the sleeve i think and maybe also the fabric choice but again if you look at the shape of it a lot of that extra volume is gone so there is a lot of thought put into that and i really appreciate that i do feel like they're tying it to the gods though i i want to know what this looks like almost unwrapped not where she's naked but like where we could see exactly where the side seams would be like is that a side seam right there like underneath her bust i like the length of it too how oh, it's kind of mini yeah i think that there's definitely gonna be somewhere in the middle where you could pull this super 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 tight and give yourself the waist definition of like you know a corset um, but I don't know that that is the, all that flattering. It's counterintuitive. You would think, oh, the smaller my waist, the more flattering it's going to be. But I think that there's an element of having it be really blousey at the top, cinched in waist, and then a close-fitting tulip hem skirt. This is really lovely. This is growing on me more and more as I look through these. I do wish, for the photos at least, they would have made the, they would have changed their searcher thread. Or just maybe even not used it at all. I don't know. That's very distracting. And then back to the yellow one. Is this the beginning? No. But she mentions, you know, those bus darts. Like, I'd like to see those. I'd like to see the, you know, the arm side. I'd like to see, like, what kind of sleeve action we've got going on here. I think, you know, a lot of the details are missing because there's no, there's no technical drawing. All right. So now we have the Olivia button up. Same price again. Perfectly oversized button-up shirt for women. This is the kind of shirt you can wear to the beach over a bikini to work with jeans. Oh, here we go. This is exactly what I was just saying that I that I didn't like. Um, or to a party with matching trousers. I guess this is more of like a note on styling than it is like lifestyle, but very, very fine line there. Two sleeve options. The first is a pleated sleeve. The other is a gathered sleeve. Olivia features a camp style collar, side slits, box pleat. At the back yoke. You can size up or down depending on the desired amount of oversized. Okay. So where's the, I can't even see the arrow on this one. There we go. All right. Oh, here it is up here. Okay. So yeah, this is some really beautiful, like very thin, lightweight, maybe linen, but here's a little notched side. Love that. The yoke with the like, uh, grown on or the drop shoulder. Very similar in the shoulder and sleeve to the dress we just saw. But then it all comes down to a gathered cuff, it seems. I think you have a regular collar, no collar stand. Just a one-piece collar. Did it say that? I don't think so. Then you can see the facing here, slim, but it needs to be there for the button band. Um, but it doesn't come, like, it's not, you know, wild, like, scooting all the way out here and taking up most of the... It's slim for these kind of thin fabrics. That's really great. There it is in a mustardy color, kind of a, a weightier fabric. Another shot from the back. It also looks like the front is shorter than the back, maybe? Again, a lawn drawing would confirm that for me. Oh, this is just zooming. Where's the arrow? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. There we go. Um... This is the pocket. Again, it does, again, look like there's a bit of a asymmetry going on here. This will be a good view. Oh, actually, that's making me second guess everything. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the intent is. But it does, like she said, I mean, this, you know what I like about this one, too? A lot of these oversized shirts don't spend enough time on the cuff. And I love that this has a traditional you know, working button cuff um, with the little vent. Like I just, it looks like an oversized men's shirt. And that's what I really love about it. It doesn't look like a shirt for women that was made too big. Or even a shirt for men that was made. I don't know. It just, I guess because the cuffs fit 
the sleeve length is normal sleeve length and everything else is oversized, it feels a little bit more intentional with how oversized the body is. A lot of times, like, when it's oversized, everything is oversized. The wrist, the length, the volume of the sleeve. But this feels a little bit like, I, I don't know. I keep going back to thoughtful. And I feel like that's going to be my takeaway from this pattern company is that the designs are very thoughtful. And I, if I were a designer, I would be thrilled if someone had that takeaway. Um, because I'm sure a lot of thought goes into a lot of these patterns. This is the Vera Cardigan. Classic V-neck, slim fit. So meant to be worn as a top. You can make it, you can size up if you want to layer it. Um, flared sleeves, adorable feature. A cardigan with flared sleeves. Oh, bound neckline, five buttons. Beginner pattern, although having some experience with knits does come in handy. Lots of tip and tricks to help you along the way. Available in straight and plus sizes up to a 59 inch chest. And then just about the the file that you'll get so also obsessed with this chocolate brown Ugh, i just love brown so much right now show me from the front more side so yeah obviously something happening here also something happening here i'm wondering if it's being pulled to the back for some reason because it also does feel a little bit longer here but it's a knit i'm thinking it's kind of a lightweight knit Let's see some more pictures. Yeah, it's kind of doing that everywhere. It's not pulling here. So I don't think it's too small. I also love how wide this neckline is. This is a very, very open neckline. Very pretty, especially considering like cardigans get a bad rap for being like librarian, like, you know, not sexy. Um, so I love that this is kind of like a very feminine twist on uh, what is usually deemed like a more conservative garment. Yeah, I don't know how like picky I can be about the fit of a knit cardigan. Clearly something with the bust is happening, right? We can definitely all see that. Um, but there has to be some negative ease or else it wouldn't be so fitted. So it might be more of a balance and it might be something that you just live with and you're like, you know what, good enough. All right, all right, that's it. Okay, good. Cute. Okay, Carmen coat. This one's a euro more than the others. Oversized double-breasted coat with raglan sleeves, belt that ties to the natural waist. Length is lower to mid-calf, although you can adjust this, obviously. Patterns written. So the intermediate sewists can level up their skills. That's interesting. For an intermediate to level up, not for intermediate sewists. Well, it is for intermediate sewists, but it will be a challenge for intermediate sewists. I like that. The pattern and instruction have been tested by sewists, blah, 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 blah. Seam allowance included. Okay, again, all that. All right, cool. So the descriptions are getting shorter and shorter. Um, Okay, so raglan sleeve. So there's a seam line that comes up through here. Um, this is kind of what I was talking about with the oversizedness of it all. So this is an oversized coat, double-breasted, and the sleeves are very, very wide. Um, even the sleeve opening is very wide. So it does look like you bought a coat that's way too big for you, um, which is a look in and of itself. But what I appreciated about that top is it just seemed like, no, 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 this was made for her intentionally to be big through the bodice. Uh, we have this really deep welt pocket. Nice big lapel. Yep, nice from the side. From the back, you can see the raglan sleeve better here. Center back seam. Yeah, just two buttons. Again, double-breasted though, so it wraps over itself. That really does add to the oversized quality of it because when you when you close it and button it, it's literally wrapping over itself. So you're losing a good six inches of circumference. But when you have it open, show me open from the front. No, um, when you have it open there, all that extra fabric goes to the side. So it looks really big and voluminous, you know, very roomy. Um, whenever you pull it closed, it is a little bit more close fitted. So again, a little bit thoughtful there. 
I appreciate that. See, you can kind of see from here. It's not a full frontal, but <laughs> okay, we're going to move on from that comment. Next, we have Waterfall. Wow, Bohemian dress. I love Bohemian. Um, there's this new trend coming out called folk. Um, folk, folk, folk something, folk fashion maybe, where it's like a cross between boho, 70s, um, cottage core, like if all those things had a baby. So this, I think the folk girlies would really appreciate this. But it would be this with like, with like lace up, worn out brown boots, you know, like, like you're in a field, but not a field of grasses. You're in a, like, you're in a forest, but not a forest of trees. You know, it's like, it's like, I don't know. You'll have to look it up. It is really cute and interesting. It's a very shabby look. It's a very like pieced together look, but when done right, the girls look super cool. All right, so boho dress with big flowy sleeves features a button placket and mandarin collar, also known as a granddad collar. Have you guys ever heard it called that? I think I'm only ever going to call it now because I've always been a little bit leery of calling it a mandarin collar. Mandarin meaning, you know, of like reminiscent of the Chinese fashions, maybe even like not kimono kind of falls in that too, but um I've always only ever heard of the alternate name being the stand collar. But granddad collar, that's cute. The pattern is called the waterfall because of the way the sleeves flow down from the pleats in the shoulders. Oh. Three views. Blouse, mini dress, and maxi dress. Comes in the usual size range. Wow, okay, let's I'm excited about this one. Maybe I'm more of a folksy girl than I realized. And wouldn't this be great out of a bed sheet? This is one of those bed sheet dresses I can just spot them a mile away. So the sleeve is the entire bodice. How incredible is that? You have a princess seam that the sleeve is sewn into. That is wild. That is a that is a big flowy sleeve if I've ever seen one. Um, I'm sure that inside of here is the rest of your bodice. I mean, it just has to be, but that is awesome okay here's another oh my god the mini is so cute oh my gosh i love that and then you even have this like a little elastic where it tucks under a little bit i love this i'm like seriously falling in love look at that look at that that is awesome and look she's in a field but not with grass see what i'm saying maybe I, maybe i did a good job of explaining that after all a forest but not trees right are you seeing it now <laughs> oh gosh so yeah and the button front placket i don't know i think i would even like do away with all those buttons and just center front v-neck it i don't know the but i guess i don't know i get i think i'm torn about half button you know like when it stops here but I get why you wouldn't need buttons all the way down here. I don't know. I don't know what I think about the button front placket. There it is as a top, equally as cute. Certainly not as fitted, that's for sure. All buttoned up though. Yeah, I don't know. I think V-neck with a facing, I guess I'd have to see the construction. That is just so beautiful. Let's zoom in this. That's incredible. I love this. I just love how different it is. I love that I've never seen anything like it. What? How did they get air up in there like that? <laughs> it's like balloons. Like she's going to take flight. Oh my God, I love this one. How much is 14.49 euros in dollars? Almost about the same, right? So good. Okay, this is the Paula Knot top. Um, Perfect beginner pattern. Crop top. Front neckline detail with ties that go through the side seams to achieve clean lines around the neckline. Extra beginner's info, which means the pattern is accessible to any has any level. So it comes. I do think the shape is really, really beautiful. The neckline, how it's like, like close to the body, it's not gaping anywhere, is really good. But I'm thinking they're saying this comes around here. You t you do the first fold over tie like this and then sweep it through the side seams and tie it in the back 
this is fun. I bet the fabric requirements on this is like three quarters of a yard or something. And I'm sure we're going to get a pattern for this skirt as well. What's the... So if you have 55 inch fabric, one and a half yards, are they out of their minds? There's no way. Almost one and three quarter yards. Where does the fabric go? I mean, from high point shoulder to waist is like, what, 15 inches maybe? Those ties must, there must be something secretive about the ties or, or, or it's fully self-lined. That might be it because I'm not seeing any stitching lines here. I don't think there's a facing. I And same thing with this little sleeve. It must be fully lined, which is fine, but like your fashion fabric's expensive. So let's let's call out the fabric requirements for the fashion fabric and then the lining separately. And if I decide I want to line it out of the self fabric, I can. If I decide I want to line it out of muslin, or some other like cotton batiste, I can do that. Plus, if you made it out of something drapier, you wouldn't want to, well, I guess you probably would. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming that's what's happening. I'd have to look at the pattern, obviously, to know that for sure, but that's cute for a beginner, for sure. I'll have to keep that in mind for all my beginners coming in to sewing class. All right, this is the Sienna sweatshirt. Unisex 90s oversized, beginner, needs some 100% cotton heavier weight sweatshirt fabric and some ribbing. Now notice none of the patterns other than that second one have had fabric requirements in the listing. I think that's helpful because I have a very big stash. So when I'm thinking about buying a pattern, I'm usually thinking, do I have something in my stash already or am I going to have to buy something new? And if I have to buy something new, then that will play a factor in whether or not I buy the pattern. Um, play around with the length, add or remove length. This pattern is, or okay, fitted, blah, 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 got it. All right, so this is just a sweatshirt is what she's telling us. Drop shoulder, same, same sleeve we've seen a lot from her. I don't think we've seen one, so like one set in sleeve this whole time, which is fine especially for right now today's fashions are very much like like this whole oversized slouchy kind of vibe um well, where in the world did she get her matching ribbon ribbing that looks gorgeous good for her for finding that perfect somewhere all right so this now yeah, this is sweatshirt 14.49 okay this is the eva or ava eva wide leg trousers. This is what they have paired with the little Paula top. Great addition to an elegant handmade wardrobe. High-waisted trousers fit snug at the waist and hips. Mm, not so much snug at the waist or the hips on these. Certainly not at the hips. Um, flowing out wider at the legs. It features slanted pockets, invisible back zipper. Invisible back zipper. Okay, they and an option to add lining. They pair very well with the Zeli wrap top or the Paula knot top. Okay. Oh, here's some fabrics. Light to medium weight, linen or cotton, good drape, satin or viscose, make for a dressier version. Dress up, dress down. Okay. All right, let's take a look at these pants. Okay, so I'm, first of all, want to commend you for showing a photo without the hands in the pockets. Thank you so much. This is the exact reason why I like to see that. This is not necessarily a fault. It's something I just want to know if it exists or not. So when you have a little gape here in your slanted pocket, hers is probably coming from her leg being kicked out, but I just wanna know how much, how much ease, how much, you know, uh, how much like drafting was put into this slant pocket is it going to gape yes the answer to that is yes that's not always a bad thing sometimes the way you move they have to gape but that's what I like to see and that's why I like hands out of pockets I really don't think I asked for too much you guys <laughs> okay so here is an interesting shot sitting down yeah sitting down and slouched 
back kind of. It does look like a very long crotch length, but oh gosh, these little things are driving me nuts. When she was doing, is she holding them up? You think they're no, she's just casually like pinching them. So some things I also noticed here was this is coming down, which made me think that the crotch length was too short. But then when you look here, it looks too long, but maybe it's wrapping from the back to the front a little bit more. Oh. Okay, interesting shot. Can't really tell much about what's happening with the pattern. A little baby hand in the pocket. All right. I do like the leg line. I do like how much space is in, like sometimes there can be lots of fabric on the inner thigh, but you can tell like there's some space there, which is nice. Another interesting pose. Doesn't help much in the way of, you know, sussing out the pattern, but again, you can see the pockets are pulling away a little bit. Here's the back, but the top is covering. So I can't see the back rise. And with her leg popped like this and her calf being overextended, it's really hard to see fit on the back. I mean, I guess it looks okay. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good to me. Even though I can't see the rise. Um, the, the shape of the curve, the leg line, even though it's kind of like out. I think we would be able to see like if there was a wedgie, for sure we'd see. If there was too much fabric, we'd see that too. This looks very clean. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Excellent. These all look really good from the photos. Like if she, um, this is the wrap top that they had paired with those pants a second ago. Um, it does seem like she really is testing these out. I don't know how much advice from the testers she's taking on, but it seems to fit these girls. Well, that does bring up a point though. Why aren't we modeling the higher size range? Why aren't we making up a sample and putting those on models too? I bet all of you plus size girls out there were thinking that well before I realized it. I apologize. But yeah, I would like to see it on full figures as well. Especially some of these wrap tops because, you know, the chests are so much larger. Yeah. Okay. This is the Zelly top. Um, oh, and dress. Puff sleeves, gathered yoke, waist ties. This seems very similar to the first one. Um, just different sleeve. The top version looks great here with jean. Okay, thank you for telling me that. All right. Yeah, it's just a different sleeve. And um, well, I guess it has a yoke also. And the tie on the first one wrapped in the front. And this one wraps in the back. I guess you could interchange those. Oh, there might even be some shoulder gathers. Where can we see? Yes. Okay, so there's like a yoke with shoulder gathers that create the fullness for the bust here. That might be a dart, again, with outline drawings. It's really hard to see. Is this the dress? Wait. Oh, okay. So... Oh, sorry. I'm like processing. If you can't tell, I'm like stuttering. Okay. So it gets wrapped. Or it must go through the side seam, wrap around and come around again to tie. Yeah, that looked, I thought that the, I don't know what I thought at first. I wasn't sure what I was looking at. But it has a long skirt with, what is this? No. Oh, wait, good. I thought we were back to the beginning. We're not. Lots of gingham. I mean, it is very similar to the first pattern. Give me another maxi dress. Oh, here we go. Okay, not that side view. I was hoping to see the front. Or or it must be because... Oop, because See how... um Is this curving intentionally? I need line draw... That's all there is to it. I would not have to second guess and guess and wonder and go back and forth if I had line drawing. So I'm not even going to continue this little 
game of trying to figure out and dissect what's happening. Um, I think that there is a curve here. That's all I'm going to (laughs) say. Okay. And with that, that wraps up Sycamore Road Patterns. What do we think? I think that for a new pattern company or a newer pattern company, they're doing the important thing is the patterns, right? The quality of the patterns, the fit, um, and the expectation of the results that we are going to get. And I think that they're doing a great job with that. There's just a couple little things missing from their website that would make the shopping experience better. But honestly, if the patterns, like if I made these garments and they looked like this in the end, I would be very, very happy. Very happy. So the waterfall is going to be on my list as soon as I get the rest of the other, I mean, at the end of the list and the list is long, so it might be a while, but I, that will, that will live rent free in my mind for sure. I love that sleeve so much. Um, but I want to know what you guys think. And also if you've ever sewn a, a, a Sycamore Road pattern before, please, 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 please leave a comment so that we can all see what your experience was like. I'm trying to pin those to the top oh. of the comment list, to the comments so that, that's the first thing people see whenever they go to the comments is someone who's sewn a pattern from them and what their experience was like. So if you've done that, please leave a comment, let us know, good, bad, or ugly. And um, yeah, that's going to do it for today. I will see you all very soon. All right, bye.